In this question, we have a 68-year-old woman with a two-day history of productive cough, low-grade fever, previous pneumonia, and sinusitis. She's been experiencing fatigue, weakness, right-sided chest pain. She has no lymphadenopathy. She has point tenderness in the right seventh and eighth ribs. Her labs show normocytic anemia. Platelets are normal. White blood cell count is elevated at 13,500. The x-ray shows left lower lung consolidation and right osteolytic lesions and rib fractures. This patient is at increased risk for recurrent infections due to which abnormality? Now, this patient's presentation is going to be concerning for multiple myeloma. She's been having osteolytic lesions, uh, rib fractures, as well as recurrent infections, and this is going to be concerning for multiple myeloma. Now, the reason why patients are going to be at an increased risk for recurrent infections in multiple myeloma is going to be due to impaired effective antibody production. Now, the reason why this is going to occur is because the problem with multiple myeloma is that we're going to have these cancerous plasma cells. So imagine that this is a plasma cell. I'm going to write P for plasma cell. And these plasma cells are going to produce the same antibodies. So there's going to be, for example, either production of IgG or IgA most commonly in multiple myeloma. Let's say that we're producing the same IgGs against the same antigen. So imagine that this is going to be the red antigen that we're producing the IgG against. Well, there's going to be different types of antigens like the green antigen, the blue antigen, the purple antigen, the pink antigen. And so we're not producing anything against these other colored antigens. So as a result, we're not covering the other antigens. And so this is going to be the reason why patients with multiple myeloma are going to be at an increased risk for recurrent infections. And in fact, infections are going to be the most common cause of death in patients with multiple myeloma. It's because they have a impaired effective antibody production. So the mnemonic to remember the important um, uh, important associations that we need to make with multiple myeloma is going to be the CRAB criteria. So there's going to be an increase in calcium, renal insufficiency, anemia, and bone lesions. Now, the reason why we're going to have bone lesions and increase in calcium is because in multiple myeloma, we're going to have increase in production of renkel ligand, which is going to increase the production of osteoclasts, which is then going to resorb bone, causing bone lesions. And when the bone is resorbed, calcium is going to be released. And so there's going to be an increase in calcium. Now, the antibodies that are going to be produced by the plasma cells are going to contain light chains, which can then deposit in the renal tissue, causing a renal insufficiency. And because of these cancer cells in the bone marrow, we can crowd out erythroid precursors that are responsible for making red blood cells. And so as a result, that can also cause anemia. And so the patient in the question, in the question stem also had normocytic anemia.